23 here. This is following my unique vibration, day seven. And this is, I can't prepare. Uh, cacao butter, this one has cacao powder. Um, stevia, medicinal mushrooms, or maybe I just put a lot of chaga mushroom powder. I don't know if there's other ones. Uh, coconut oil, and I think that's it. Maybe next time I'll put some sea salt. And the co cacao butter was just a little bit more to get it uh, liquefied. So everything's pretty much alive in here. So yeah, this has been an interesting experience. Um, I'm in the hospital, as you can see. Um, so the incision got infected. And it's kind of surprising because I feel better than yesterday. I thought the antibiotics would cause a lot of um, just me to feel worse, but I'm trusting that I feel better. So, um, yeah, it was a little bit challenging to decide if I wanted to do the antibiotics or not, or, but you know, the doctors seemed pretty sure, and I had to trust them a little bit that it is an infection. You know, um, they saw. They said that they saw some pus and stuff coming out. So it's not a good idea to let the infection spread through the skull because it's not through the skull and into the brain now. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, yeah, it's been a really awesome, painful, challenging, miraculous experience. You know, it's like almost so much changing and happening each day, and I'm kind of glad I'm making these videos. As a side note, I might have to stop seemingly short because, uh, well, the pain and fatigue, and then also that still dealing with managing the seizures as far as looking at lights for not too long of a time. But the screen, like, you know, computer screen light, and also just not. Um, what else? Letting myself get too hot, or even the sounds like when I speak can affect the he the hear and like ringing in the ear. So anyway, I'm just letting you know that that's something that's happening. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been a death, like rebirth experience. It's kind of like both are happening at once. It's not like one happens and then that happens completely, then the other one happens completely. It's kind of like they're both layered over top of each other. But eventually, it's going to shift more towards like the rebirth, filling in most areas. But now it's a lot of death stuff. So, you know, if you haven't watched any other videos, I was in Hawaii. Well, it began 1984 when I was born. But I won't make you go through that whole story. But the most recent thing is I was in Hawaii, living in the shamanic community. My intuition told me to go back to New York where my mom and my stepfather live, work in New York City for around six, maybe nine months, save up money and go back to Hawaii. But while in New York, I also wanted to gain clarity on who I am and what I'm offering and then go back to Hawaii, feeling more grounded and stable and I'm gonna take a little bite of this because it's yummy. And then also I've been doing Velasta. It is I think it's like the world's highest, strongest antioxidant. It's really high quality. And so it's best to have that with some sort of fat. You know, I'm not eating a lot. I'm not really eating at all. Well, besides this. Um, so, because I'm so inactive, I'm not eating hardly anything, let alone things like avocados or like even raw soaked nuts, those will just sit in my stomach. So, I want to get fat into my system so the, the Velasta Astaxanthin will absorb better and like be utilized better. Um, so that's why I'm eating this. I have been eating also cacao butter, but no cacao powder. And uh, medicinal mushrooms, stevia, cinnamon, but I didn't bring that. Well, actually I ate all that. So, no, I only have this. Anyway. Um, that's my point. Yeah, the death process has been a lot of, um, it's kind of like a shamanic experience where on a certain level I created everything and everything's a reflection of aspects 
inside of me. Whether it's my mom living with her and her husband, they're both reflections of different aspects of unresolved issues inside of myself, but also beautiful aspects inside of myself. They're reflected in my mom and stepfather. Um, uh, and then having the infection in the head is another aspect I'm dealing with. I mean, the brain cancer and keeping the seizures at bay and building up my body and uh, building up my life and business and relationships and my gifts. So, well, I'll show you. I'm, uh, uh, what did I say? This is day seven. Which is kind of silly because how could you have not have a day of following your unique vibration? I think that's what we're all doing, consciously or unconsciously. But um, so yeah, it's day seven of these videos related to following my unique vibration, or they're all related to it. But the title, following my unique vibration. So I've been doing different. Like this hasn't been a plan, conscious plan per se, but all of this is kind of evolving. And I'm just following my intuition and trying to like follow it as best I can in the middle of extreme pain and challenges and all that stuff. But um, so like I thought it'd be a good idea, and it seems strange because I am like I'm Ethan's sister, but I'm also moving into E3, the name E3, embodied, empowered, ecstatic. So I thought I should write a biography okay. from this new perspective of who I am and who I'm becoming in E3 even though I'm still, that's what I'm saying about the old and the newer merged, still layered before they completely separate. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to write a biography. Um, it would be healing and just helpful and therapeutic for my own consciousness and life to write a biography, like to review, you know, like a life review, you could say. But then also to do, like, I'm not putting every detail, just like general themes, um, like, I'll show you, but escape routine, like, there's two main themes, the escape routine and the detail, or not the details, but a few, not even examples, but some recurring themes of the escape routine in my life, and then some themes of my, un I, I'm UHTS, my unique holy tri-state, so some common themes of, you could say, the darkness the escape routine and then the light my inner gifts so it's been really helpful um, to write some of these things down <clears throat> because in the work I'll be offering this is something that'll be assisting people with gaining clarity on so I figured well I should do it with myself and the interesting thing is the 11 foundational principles they came to me over many years and then when I was in India like like a year and a half ago, I was, it was the last time I was there, through like two years ago, or two and a half years ago, um, it's 2020, so around 2017 I was there, I forget the exact, I'm trying to, like I'm writing that down too, um, like general timeline, but, um, so my point is that, um, Okay, what I was going to say. Right here. Oh, okay. That I am. I want to show you, and then maybe I'll remember. Here, okay? But. Right. See, some. Oh, yeah, my point is that. So, those are some escape routine aspects, and then I also wrote. I hope everything's not backwards. Maybe it's backwards, because I have a screen flipped. Or that I'm. You know, the screen is this way and not that way. But anyway, um. It's like the 11 foundational principles. I've known them and written about them, but it's interesting because they had to be shown to me in different visions and different sections of them were shown to me. It's not like I just saw the Ten Commandments and then that's it. No, it just kind of like over the years, one aspect would come and then another. And then, like I said, when I was in India, I started writing about them, but then I would oh, <clears throat> always, and this is part of my escape routine that I've been integrating is that I would always say it's not good enough, I'm not good enough, or even if it is good enough, it's just gonna, it's not gonna last long term. So then I would just delete the ebooks. I call them e manuals. So, um, 
So, but now, so then you could say, well, how are you practicing them if you already know them? Well, now I've just, over the past few years, I've been often disconnected from myself. But recently, I've thought, well, it might be cool to actually, you know, like go through each of the, uh, or we'll make a biography among other things, but go through the 11 foundational principles. That's one of the reasons I'm making these videos is to follow my unique vibration. And eventually I'll create more and share the creations, but this is a creation, making a YouTube video. Um, and, but I'm making these YouTube videos to show the process, not just because I could wait six months, nine months or longer try to create things and then say okay now it's ready and then share but what I'm doing now is recording these videos and doing these you know like biography and other practices and eventually I'll do an e3 autobiography to document what's happening in real time uh, what else do I have here oh also um, Um, and just little things like, the video's still on. Mm, well, I'm writing, I'm, I'm going to be sharing about the 11 foundational principles, so I'm writing notes about things I want to share and eventually teach in some sort of, uh, fun class or, like, workshop setting or something online, but, oh yeah, so here... Like, I'm going through each of the 11 foundational principles and, like, doing them for myself, because that's the essence of the 11 foundational principles, that, like, it's completely individualized. Like, it's almost the opposite of a generic prescription. It's like, what helps, for example, um, Again, I apologize if this is backwards. I'm still figuring out the uh, camera stuff. Plus, I'm in the hospital. I don't have, like, a professional camera set up here. The lighting. But, like, foundational principle number one. So, I... Yeah, it's, I think it's backwards. But I went through foundational principle number one and asked myself, what is my unique vibration? So, it's not like the 11 foundational principles I say to people, this is what the unique vibration is. But... I would ask each person, like, when do you, what do you feel when you feel your unique vibration? Like, I can give general qualities of, well, what is a unique vibration? It's, like, what a person feels when they are in alignment with their life purpose. But that feels different for each person. So I wrote down some qualities of what it feels like for me. So, for example, it feels like home, peace, clarity, truth where my human self meets Emmanuel, which is one of my angel guides. Um, it's a small space in the crown, like the crown front of my head. It feels like a peaceful, buzzing sensation um, connected to my life purpose, intuition, inner gifts, miracles, manifestation abilities. So, you know, I'm going through each of the 11 foundational principles and I'm probably going to type this up so people could see my 11 foundational principles list. Um, but ever, like I said, everyone's is going to be different. Um, and uh, yeah, then I'm going through like foundational principle number two, my unique flow state. What is it? What helps me activate it? Um, then foundational principle number three, my unique life purpose. And I didn't even necessarily logically think about it, but just wrote down sorry, uh, sorry. So you uh, nurses here. Yeah. Can I get you one? Sure. You do for another so software. It's three for the day. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Even though the bowel movements are you okay. can you you can refuse if you want. Yeah. Can I try just two today and then sure if you yeah. want to try this one and then I won't give you one later. Um yeah I'll try that. Okay. Thank you. Especially cause, since I've only had like juices and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um thanks. Have you had a bowel movement yet? Um, no, not today. Are you passing gas? You had one yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. Okay, all right, so do you, we can hold off on this if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe till later. Yeah, we can do that. And then if needed, who knows, maybe tomorrow I'll need three for the day. Yeah, that's fine, we can do that. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, going through each of the 11 foundational principles, 
um, for myself. And part of like my personal, I guess that's why I'm teaching the 11 foundational principles because I have disconnected from them like my whole life. So in a sense, I'm the perfect <laughs> candidate. I have mastery and disconnection from the 11 foundational principles. Uh, I guess it's part of being human, but I'm, I'm working on integrating and I'm never going to really have mastery in the 11 foundational principles. I guess that's part of it because it requires humility and surrender. So like, I'm never going to say I'm a master at it. Uh, a practitioner, I am doing my best to practice it and maybe one day I'll say I'm an expert practitioner, but now I'm working towards it. Um, but that's a little bit about what I wanted to share today. Um, still pain everywhere. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting because I'm going through stage four brain cancer, healing and infection, and then keeping the seizures at bay. And uh, I'm not complaining, but if you can imagine, like three and a half months of almost no physical activity. I tried like, after the brain surgery. I couldn't for at least like, a month, just extreme pain. And then I tried to build up a little bit, and I did a little bit, but then radiation started. And yeah, all these are my choices. I'm just saying what has been happening. Radiation wrecked my body and energy, and then tried to build up from that a little, then grand mal seizure. And then build up a little bit, then another grand mal seizure, uh, like 10 days ago, age, J January, uh, or February, uh, second, I think. So, you know, now I'm dealing with the infection. So I'm trying to do all that stuff and I build up the 11 foundational principles business and practices. Um, so I think I'm doing pretty good considering I'm trying to like be humble and but also give myself credit as a human you know so as humans sometimes it's good to either be celebrated or celebrate ourselves i guess you could say our unique vibration doesn't even really need that because once we're being in it it's just it's just checking my phone it's just we're being present and that's it we don't need any proof or like celebration but while in this human realm just checking my message um while in this human realm, uh, you know, it, it can be healthy to take care of human psychological and physical needs, such as, well, psychological would be, there's so many, but one of them is acknowledgement and praise for who we are and our gifts. So I'm doing that for myself. Um, feeling some pain and fatigue and I don't, I don't feel a need to push through and make this video longer than it already is but thank you for joining me in this and I hope something is helpful for you so I will say cheers to that and I'll speak to you in the next one